Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program. And today we're doing another episode of Team Bone Battle where I make a team live for you to see and then we test it out with a couple of games. Today I'm going to be making a Dialga team. Dialga is the name of the game. I like this guy. I think it's good. We're going to go for a weakness policy build because I think it's going to be really cool. Um, so I'm going to do a weakness policy and we can't have telepathy because I'm going to be self procking. So what I'm going to be self procking with is either Lando or Arcanine and I haven't decided yet um, which one but I might have both on the team uh, just because so we're gonna be out uh, hitting it with bulldoze and it'll be uh, it'll be a fun time that's gonna be the plan that's the plan plan ski doodle also I kind of want to try um, what else has bulldoze I, I want to check what else has bulldoze so uh, Celestial gets bulldoze which is kind of cool it does have to be faster than the, uh, than the Dialga and I'm probably not gonna go for speed we're probably just gonna go for um, special attack and then some kind of bulky spread that will work out a little bit better of um, there but yeah let's look at the bulldoze uh, the bulldozers here uh, Dragovish is kind of cool but like we'd probably use a choice item so that's not gonna be uh, the case Dracozolt's Dusclops is like once again kind of cool because we are gonna want to set trick room a lot of the time but not always and I'm gonna have a trick room mode on the team as you'll see later I already have an idea of it it's not it's not rewriting the wheel here it's, it's just gonna be Porygon 2 and uh, um, Amoongus most likely but yeah we don't need Tapu Fini maybe some kind of uh, thing here like a, a like a Rillaboom could be cool but not really I don't really want to double up on that and Amoongus uh, so yeah a little terrain thing could be cool and Cinderella could be good if we don't use Arcanine so it would probably be like Dialga Lando Arcanine um, yeah Rillaboom gets that too actually which is really cool Rillaboom being able to self proc is kind of cool how fast are you though uh, 85 so we'd have to invest a little bit of speed onto this guy to be able to outspeed our own Dialga but that's like that's doable maybe we don't need the Amoongus actually yo actually maybe we don't need Amoongus I don't know I, I really like Amoongus Tyranitar gets bulldozed I didn't know that that's actually kind of cool yo what about like a Tyranitar for Sandstream with bulldoze so we'd have to invest a good bit of speed though on this guy like to outspeed actually so much so much speed yo what if though that would be cool like and like tyranitar invest in in just enough and then uh like sandstream and then we have dracovish yo what if with like the sands the sand rush sand rush dracovish on the team with tyranitar coist band we have that's so many ways to self-proc we don't really need rillaboom then at that point oh at that point we can't go the borgon too okay oh i like this this all it's all coming together guys it's all coming together is this too much hmm because like this guy's min speed too for our porygon 2 yeah i kind of like this you can go like p2 lando with the dialga in the back with weakness policy and like tyranitar in the back Yo, kind of spicy. We don't really have much type uh, type awareness here. I'd really like an Incineroar on this team somewhere. Maybe instead of the Lando. Incineroar? Yo, what about that? I kind of like that. Actually, that's such a cool team comp. Let's see if we're weak to really anything. I mean, obviously ground. Maybe Shuka Incineroar. Maybe Shuka Incineroar. Get rid of that so Dia Dialga and the Tyranitar are nice with it. And uh, we have Steel Spike, obviously. Ooh, I kind of I kind of like this. Yo, this feels kind of nice. All right, we're, do we're doing it. This is going to be Bulldoze. Self-procking Bulldoze. Bulldoze also is like kind of just a cool move. I mean, we're probably not going to use it much. Yo, what if I went mixed attacking Tyranitar? Like special attack? Just add to the spice. The spice -ometer? What do we even want for the item here? What if I went for like a life orb Tyranitar doing damage? But like special attacking. Yo, Thunder Wave? It gets Thunder Wave? What if we make it a weird Tyranitar, man? That could be weird. Then we have Tyran uh, Dialga and Dracovish only really doing damage, though, which is a problem. I don't know. I kind of want to just, like, be normal Tyranitar. But, like, we don't have weakness policy. Like, what else are people using? Focus Sash, of course. It's an option. I mean, then we don't just die to the first fighting move that hits it. Focus Sash, Bulldoze, Thunder Wave. <laughs> Ice Beam and Protect. I mean, at that point, we might, might as well just go speed. If yeah. This is weird getting weird with it ice beam should we go for ice beam instead i mean we'll have ice fang here if we want to so ice beam like we can just throw that away for a, for like a power gem maybe dark pulse i wouldn't mind having dark pulse there i wouldn't mind a tailwind option as well for dracovish but i guess like dracovish always comes with tyranitar and it's fine yeah this is weird okay this is real weird usually like this would sit next to each other and then like this would dynamax and this would just like start swinging but 
the Olga's here. Okay, what do we what do we need to get to for speed? Uh, to double. I think we just want to get as fast as possible, right? How fast is it? 277 is Reggie Lucky, so 277 divided by 2. We'll get to the 278. So, 278 divided by 2. Quick math. Not on my calculator. I'm not on my calculator. 139. That's super doable, right? It's normally doable, but it is doable. And then uh, we'll just have all in to attack. Uh, there's no reason to, for anything else here. Uh, Ficious Rend. Ficious Rend. There's no reason for anything else here. You know, Ice Fing. Psychic Fings. I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide. I just realized I said uh, Ice Ball. <laughs> ice Fang. Do I even need that if I'm going Ice Beam here? Maybe I'd rather have Dark Pulse and then go Incidero without a, a Dark Move. Dude, this is incredible that it gets to 139, actually. It's like, that's, that's perfect. I just need Sand Rush to activate. Power gem? It gets power gem. Okay, I can use power gem, so I'll probably use that. Uh, anyway, for this guy, it's Dynamax. We're going to Dynamax this guy 100% of the time. Flash Cannon, Roar of Time. Kind of want to have Trick Room one here as a mix-up, but I kind of feel like Protect is probably better. It's not really a mix-up. It's like part of the team. I think I like power gem. And uh, we'll work out a little bit of a spread here. So let's go to Dialga. Dialga. Let's try Life Orb just like to know the calc. Right? Then Dynamax here. Uh, all right, we, we live that pretty easy. Uh, is that like the biggest worry actually? Glass trier, uh, like this raw, whoa, it's doing nothing. And uh, Dynamax that guy and weakness policy us. Let's see, can I take, I can't take a knockout there. Weakness policy, oh, that's flash cannon, not the max one. Boom, easy, easy money. Okay, that's an easy matchup. Glass trier shouldn't be a problem. We'd be taking no damage. Okay, I should I go into defense or special D? Is there anything special attacking? That's like a problem. Probably not, right? Uh, we'll check um Venusaur, Venusaur, Life Orb, Earth Power, Max it. 252 plus special attack, Life Orb, Max Quake into our 184 Dynamax Dialga. I don't know. I, I'm trying to make a I'm trying to make a more intelligent calc, but it just doesn't matter. Like we just don't take any damage. <laughs> All right, man. Whatever then. Fine. What did you do this? <laughs> Dialga, you're good. Incineroar, power gem is a little bit weird. I'd really like to have uh, like the earth power on this guy so that we can really raise our special Ds. As well. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like changing the weather is a little bit more important. Yeah, and I kind of like the Shuka, Shuka Berry here. Uh, I don't think I really need taunt because taunts were really not needed on a non-prankster guy unless, uh, you know, for a trick room. And they can set trick room. I think I'm fine with them setting Trick Room, really, so, yeah. Maybe Snarl. Actually, if I'm worried about, like, not having uh, Max Quake on Dialga, maybe Snarl here is good. Maybe we'll go Dark Pulse here. I, I don't think we need the Ice Beam one on the Tyranitar. And at that point, you know, what am I doing? I'll just give it Lash out and not make it special attacking. Although, honestly, it's still, like, kind of good. I want the damage more. I want the damage more. Because how much damage do we do against our Dialga? Right? Yeah, we're still not doing much damage. So that's, it's fine. It's fine. 113 makes us out spe speed, right? And we're still using Focus Sash, so it's okay. All right, so 100% Flare Blitz here. I kind of want a Dark Attack, but I kind of also just want to go Snarl now. We have Lash out on the Tyranitar. Rock Slide's still not bad on Tyranitar because it's still going to be underspeeding a lot of things under Trick Room. So we're just going to add Rock Slide. This is just going to be Rock Slide, and then I'm going to have the Dark Attack here. It's okay. I, I don't. I think I'm worried, worrying about that too much. Fake out. Parting shot. 28 here. All in. I think this was the spread we came up with last time. Careful. And uh, careful now. Okay. Uh, I do like the Shuka Berry idea, though. You're done. You're done. P2. Uh, let's make a P2 calc. Let's make a Porygon 2 calc. It's time. Time, everybody. Urshifu. Biggest weakness. Urshifu single strike. 252 into attack. Choice band. Close combat. Not max move. Not Dynamax here. Just want to live this attack. Uh, is really it. You can go very physically defensive here. V incredibly physically defensive. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to do the rest into this. 20. All right. Very physically defensive. But I, my team is incredibly weak to the to fighting. So I want to make sure I can live that. So that's kind of why I did that. So we're 252 here, right? And then 236 into bold. Oh, wait. was That is with Eviolite, right? Okay, it is. 
and we'll go download Evie Light, of course. So we're going for a very physically defensive Porygon 2, and the team in general is just very physically defensive. I want Tri Attack, and uh, do we need Ice Beam here? I wanted Ice Beam on Tyranitar, but it's fine to be on Draco. The only problem I have with this team right now is that if we bring like Incineroar P2 and Amoongus and Dialga, there's not a lot of physical pressure. So it makes me really want to bring like Dialga, Incineroar, Tyranitar, Dracovish, or like Dialga, Tyranitar, Dracovish, Incineroar, like, you know, and, and it's very obvious that Tyranitar, Dracovish is like, it's, it's Sand Rush because there's no Tailwind anywhere. So that's like a little bit of a problem, but I still think it's really cool. So I'm going to do that. Trick Room and then recover. And I think that's fine. And then we're gonna just do pretty basic stuff here for Amoongus, Koba, Regenerator, Spore, Rage Powder. And we're definitely gonna go Pollen Puff because it's gonna be a support to the Alga team and uh, protect. And I'm just gonna do this. I guess I probably should make this spread, but we're gonna make this for now. All right, so quick overlook of the team before we get into it. So we got Dialga here. We got Incineroar, Tyranitar, Dracovish, P2, and Amoongus. Dialga is going to be the weakness policy, which is good. Pressure instead of telepathy because we're going to be re resetting. We're going to be self-proccing here with Bulldoze into our Dialga, which is really good. Bulldoze actually lowering the speed is pretty good for our P2 Trick Room mode. We have a Trick Room mode of P2, Amoongus, which I'm actually going to make zero speed here real quick because I forgot to do that. Uh, I should make it... Zero speed. And then we have uh, P2 is actually z not zero speed as well. It should be zero speed. Oh, well. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got Dialga. Tyranitar is going to be a big mode. Uh, Dracovish with that and P2 with that is going to be the main mode. So Dialga, Tyranitar, Dracovish, and P2 is going to be a main mode of the game. P2 is going to move into Trick Room during the, the middle or beginning of the game, probably. Um, and then we have Incineroar here for support, Shuka Berry, because Dialga and Tyranitar are both very weak to that ground typing, so I don't want to just lose to ground typing. Dracovish is pretty bad for, or pretty good for that as well, and so is Amoongus, so that's something good. Uh, Amoongus here for just general support of Spore and Rage Powder, and then Pollen Puff as well for just like there. I do think I might want to make that into damage, because um, as you can see here, our Tyranitar is not going to be doing too much damage, because it just has Rock Slide. Uh, Thunder Wave might change as well, this might be too cheeky, but... Um, yeah, it's a, it has speed investment, so I wanted it to be kind of cheeky, and I wanted to add something um, to take advantage of the cheek with. You know what I'm saying? So go for that Thunder Wave. Another uh, idea here could be like Wide Lens Tyranitar for the Thunder Wave and Rock Slide, but Bulldoze has 100, and that's like the main thing, and uh, I just want that to happen, so Focus Sash makes a lot of sense on the team, in my opinion, as well. So, you know, maxing Dialga, my opponent's gonna like probably not attack in like maybe expecting weakness policy um with this kind of lead but yeah i think it's pretty cool uh so let's get into it oh and by the way this is sand rush i don't know if i said that so we have um power gem and uh you know sand stream here for that yeah let's get into the into the battles let's do it up all right so we've got a groudon team here groudon with the cherim is that what his name is cherim but it turns into the cherry blossom open flower gifting guy uh, and then we got some anti-intimidate uh, with the Blizzard. So I don't know Blizzard, Bisharp. So I don't know if I'm gonna go for that. But he also has Tailwind with Cinderace and Tailwind with Lapras. So a lot of different routes that he can go for. Up against my team, Lapras doesn't seem that good because Dialga is not, you know, very phased by that. Um, maybe he's still setting up Aurora, uh, like the Aurora Veil. Maybe we'll make it fine. But I still think the that he doesn't really want that. He might have Taunt on his Prankster Whimsicott. So I don't really want to lead the P2 with the Trick Room method. So I do kind of want to have that in the back. But I think I'm kind of more inclined to go for Dialga, Tyranitar, and lead. Dracovish in the back. And then P2 probably. Uh, just because Amoogus doesn't seem like it hits hard enough uh, on this team. And it kind of gets wrecked by everything on the team. That's what we're going for. So let's see how he starts. We got Dialga, Tyranitar, Whimsicott, and Cinderace. Makes sense for his lead. You know, he could go for a max uh, Knuckle into the Dialga. Still not going to be doing that much damage, though. So we could go for, like, a Thunder Wave into the Cinderace. Um, and kind of go for, like, a crazy mix-up there. Uh, there's also a chance that Whimsicott goes for, like, a tricking method here. But I don't think that's likely. Uh, as it seems like it's just, a, like, a Tailwind stand. So, yeah, I don't think I'm too worried about that. I do kind of want to go for, like... Wormwind into uh into the Cindy. I mean obviously like it would be into Cindy. Maybe we go Steel Spike into the Whim and then just like double hit that with the Rock Slide. I think it takes out the Whim. He's gonna get a Tailwind set up though this turn, but I do want to get rid of it for the um you know late game Trick Room. So we're just gonna go for that. Not G Max Cinderace, which is interesting. He goes for a Taunt into the Dialga, expecting the Trick Room right off the bat. 
Uh, so, yeah, we play into this turn one pretty well, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, Tyrannosaur getting uh, knocked to its sash was not I ideal this turn, but uh, we do take out Whimsicott um, without even getting Trick Room set up, so that's pretty interesting. Interestingly enough, it's Babri Berry, which means the f uh, the sash is probably on the Cherim, uh, if I had to guess, or the Bisharp. Probably the Bisharp, actually. So, yeah. All right, so he brings in Groudon, which is fine. You know, I'm not too do, do, too worried about, like, the Rockfall staying up this turn. What do I want to go for here, though? Because uh, now this Dialga is in a bit of a pickle because it can't use Max Guard. I don't like that. Dialga is fast, though. Uh, faster than base Groudon. So unless the Groudon has speed, we're going to be out. Well, we're actually we're on the same speed tier. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I kind of want to attack into it. I think, like, Wormwind... It's probably pretty useful. Wormwind into the Groudon is probably pretty useful. And we'll just like switch around here. I think Protect is fine though. Like, I don't think he's targeting it down with a with a max move. He actually airstreams the Dialga, which is really interesting. Playing around the weakness policy for sure. Uh, let's see. So he Precipice Blades actually, which will do a lot of damage. But now we take out the Groudon, um, which is really good. Wormwind takes out Groudon and lowers that Cinderace back down to its regular... Um, you know base there which is pretty good and he's already naturally outspeeding me so i don't really care about the airstream and the airstreams actually uh proves to be pretty worthless against my team except for the dracovish i do kind of want to preserve my tyranitar this turn though because the plus one in defense doesn't matter because it has one hp so that doesn't matter at all i think i am just gonna switch the tyranitar into p2 this turn most likely let's see what his last two pokemon are i feel like it's not okay never mind i was gonna say i feel like it's not bisharp but uh, it's probably Bisharp and Bisharp. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely going to just go for, like... I, I can't go for a Wormwind, so I guess we're going to Steel Spike the Cinderace. Seems fine. If he guards, he guards. Like, that's okay. I don't think I'm worried about that. And we'll switch back into P2 here um, because, yeah, I think that's will prove to be pretty useful for the game. He actually Sucker Punches, which is really interesting. Let's see if this kills. I don't think it will. Uh, yeah, it didn't. So, yeah, we just take out the, uh, the Cinderace now, which is really, really good. And we're going to be a plus uh, two defense for um, the Dialga and plus one defense for the P2. So this P2 is looking in really, really prime positioning for this endgame. Uh, I mean, I'm going to protect and set up the Trick Room. Like, there's no reason not to. I mean, maybe he has Taunt. He Sucker Punches the Dialga. Sucker Punch wouldn't take the knockout at this range anyway. But, yeah. Uh, they do the same. <laughs> like, it just doesn't really matter. Gonna try attack. Sucker Punch won't take it out. It does get pretty close, closer than I thought it was gonna actually. And we get a, we managed to get a paralyze, which actually would be like not that good because it would make it faster than everything under Trick Room. But oh well. Uh, so that one went pretty well. Um, definitely went pretty well. We didn't even have to bring out the Sandrush Dracovish, so that's cool. All right, we got a um, this guy, uh, Necrozma Dusk Main, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Anti Intimidate team with the. Under us, a lot of anti intimidation we're seeing today. So, yeah. But uh, we've got pretty Trick Room heavy team as well, uh, being that Ndidi. Like I said, I'm not really worried if he goes for Trick Room methods. So, I think I'm just going to go for that Dialga Tyranitar lead once again. I think that's really good and it's going to prove to be pretty strong. Cinderora kind of is going to take a backseat once again because of that Defiant. It's just not that good against this team anyway. I mean, obviously, you know, it's good against the Dusk Main. Probably going to be our best way around that Dusk Main. Dusk Main might be a bit of a problem. I think I have to bring Moongus here. Although the taunt on uh, Dusclops is, is uh, you know, possible for that as well. And I kind of want to go Dracovish in the back. I don't think he's going to lead uh, T, uh, T Room here. I, I just don't expect the Trick Room to be that prevalent for my opponent's team right now. Leading Incineroar is fine. Like, uh, you know, he's not expecting my Tyranitar to be a weird, weird guy anyway. So, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I still kind of want to just go for Rock rock Slides and Dialga attack into, like, Thunderous. Incineroar is probably going to fake out my Tyranitar this turn. And if so, then whatever. It's fine. Uh, I just want to attack. I think I'm just going to go for a Steel Spike into the Thunderous slot. And we're going to go Rock Slide. I might get torn apart. This might actually not be an anti-intimidate, like... Might be a prankster T-Wave guy. We'll see how that goes. I think I still want to just like max right off the bat. Uh, Yeah, I, I thought about revoking that and going for a bulldoze instead. But oh, well, Max Knuckle turns out to be only doing 20 damage and still activating our weakness policy. So I'm pretty OK there. Uh, doing a lot of damage on the Incineroar as well. Maybe getting the flinch would be crazy. We didn't actually take out the Thunderous, which is really unfortunate. Uh, parting shots, the Tyranitar, the wrong Pokemon there, sir. Thank you, though. 
Um, yeah, the Alka's not too worried. I mean, now it's going to be taking 30% on top, and then Necrozma is going to be doing a good bit of damage probably here as well. So that's a little unfortunate. We don't really have anything for that as well, um, which is just pretty unfortunate in general. I guess I could Wormwind into, like, the Thunderous this turn and get a minus one on the Necrozma. I think that's what I want to go for. We're going to Wormwind the Thunderous and go for a T-Wave on the Necrozma in case he max guards. I think that's a good play. Uh, Knuckles here. He might actually take me out now. Necrozma is very scary. We hit the Paralyze, though, proving we are faster than Necrozma. So we get rid of that attack upgrade and Thunder Wave from our Tyranitar. From our fast Tyranitar. My opponent just quits. He's like, dude, what? Do you get out of here? All right, well, that was cool. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to end it here. But yeah, I think that was really cool. This team worked really well, actually. We didn't even use our Trick Room mode or the Dracovish. The Dialga was just so powerful, and, and nobody really could get it. Um, and the Tyranitar Thunder Wave tech was dirty. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It really does. You know, only like 30% of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so you should do it. Anyway, long outro is over. Have a good week. And goodbye.